Hello everyone and welcome to the video on propeller pilot. The topic for today's video is altimeter settings error. The reason I decided to make this video is altimeter settings error is a very standard question that I ask my students to gauge if they understand the working of the altimeter properly as well as know the limitations because every pilot must know how different aircraft instruments work as well as know their limitations or what the errors or what are the errors of that particular instrument if not used properly ultimate settings error is one such error that can be caused because of the pilot not changing the ultimate settings when necessary what are ultimate settings ultimate settings are the readings that we put into the coltsman window in order to fly correct altitudes and account for the changes of pressure over place or time what do i mean by place or time let's consider time if you take a look at the altimeter settings at a particular airport they change throughout the day so every time someone flies from that airport they might have to tune into the atis or avos and listen to the current altimeter settings and change it accordingly this is because of pressure variation over time if you are flying a long cross country 200 nautical miles the altimeter settings might vary as you fly through different areas with different temperatures and different pressure these are pressure changes over area or distance the altimeter settings error precisely occurs when you fly from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure or the other way around this also occurs when you fly from higher temperature to lower temperature or lower temperature to higher temperature so before going into how the error occurs how can we avoid this error well first of all if you're flying out of an airport put the correct altimeter settings make sure you write it down and verify that you have put in the correct altimeter settings and second is if you're flying across country and you are in radar contact vfr flight following or if you are doing an ifr cross country the atc will advise you of the altimeter settings periodically if you are not flying in radar contact you are below 18000 feet and you are flying vfr squawking 1200 by yourself what i would do is i would listen to the nearest airport once in a while to get the atis or avos and know the altimeter settings so that i know that the altitude that i'm looking at the indicated altitude is equal to the true altitude and to know why this occurs you might have to look into the working of altimeters which i have explained in my course of instrument flying on my website propellerpilot.com i will link it in the description go check it out so now what would happen if you are flying a 300 nautical mile cross country squawking vfr not in radar contact not talking to atc and also not listening to nearby atis or avos to get the altimeter settings what are the errors that your altimeter can produce let's take a look at how this will play using our overhead camera now of course i'm not going to go into the whole working of an altimeter but one thing that you need to remember is altimeter reads the height from what you put in as the altimeter settings the altimeter settings that you get from your atis avos or asos or from the weather report that's the altimeter settings that you put into the coltsman window and the altimeter then reads the height from that pressure level If you want to learn more about the working of the altimeter, check out the course of instrument flying on my website. Here is a simple scenario. An aircraft is flying from A to B. In this scenario, we are considering the pilot not changing the altimeter settings of the aircraft. We will see what happens when you don't change the altimeter settings in the aircraft. Let's say when they were beginning from A. The altimeter settings were two nine and nine and two. When you put in two nine and nine and two at a particular airport, if the altimeter settings is two nine and nine and two, you will read airport elevation, which is the field elevation in mean sea level. The aircraft starts flying at a thousand feet, and since it's two nine and nine and two at A, the altimeter reads correctly. Now we start flying. and we enter a region where the altimeter settings becomes 3012 this is in between a and b the altimeter settings is 3012 somewhere here now we haven't changed the altimeter settings they are still 29992 in our aircraft what did i say the aircraft is going to read the height from 29992 
because that's what we put in when we started from A. If 3012 is the pressure at sea level here, 29092 will be above 3012 because it's lower and pressure decreases as we climb. How much above? For that, you'll have to calculate it. And the calculation will be 3012 minus 2992. That gives you 0 0.20 and 1 inch for every 1000 feet. So you multiply this by a 1000 and get 200 feet as the answer, which means that the pressure level of 2992 would be at 200 feet above the sea level. 200 feet above the sea level right here the aircraft was supposed to fly at a thousand feet so if it continues to fly along the blue line which is really thousand feet msl it would only read this distance which is 800 feet why because i said that when you put in the altimeter settings the altimeter would read the altitude from the pressure level that you set in so in our case since 29992 is about 200 feet above mean sea level your aircraft altimeter would read 800 feet if you were here so as a pilot what you would do is you would climb because you want to fly at a thousand feet hence you will be somewhere around here which is 1200 feet Obviously, this is incorrect because you are supposed to fly at a thousand feet, but the pilot wouldn't know because for them, they are looking at the altimeter and they are still reading a thousand feet because it is from 2992 up until here. So this distance is still thousand feet, but it is not thousand feet MSL. You see what happened here? We climbed because we did not change the altimeter settings to the newer altimeter settings. So you can conclude that if you go from an area of low pressure to an area of high pressure and don't change the altimeter settings while maintaining the same indicated altitude you are actually climbing and you will be at a higher distance now you go continue flying towards b for b you have the altimeter settings to be 2972 2972 is the pressure at sea level that's what altimeter settings are pressure at sea level so if 2972 is here, 29992 would be below because it's higher pressure. So it is, all, it is going to be below 2972. How much? You can do the calculation. Again, it's going to be about 200 feet below. 200 feet below the sea level. Now, because we are trying to maintain 1000 feet indicated, your aircraft would actually have to come down to about right here because you want to maintain a thousand feet from 29992 why 29992 because that is the altimeter settings we are flying with and the altimeter always indicates altitude from the settings that you put in so it will always indicate a height above 29992 to maintain a thousand feet you would have to descend because the pressure level of 29992 has descended what happened is when you go from area of high pressure to an area of low pressure you are descending without actually knowing because for you you are still looking at the altimeter and it still shows a thousand feet this is the altimeter settings error remember when you go from high to low you need to look out below because you are descending so that is what the memory item is for this error high to low look out below there you go back to the front camera to summarize altimeter settings error occurs whenever we forget to put in the correct altimeter settings of the area we are flying through how can we avoid it obviously as a pilot you should periodically check the local altimeter settings throughout the flight remember high to low look out below what does this mean whenever you go from an area of high pressure or high temperature to an area of low pressure and low temperature you will descend even if you keep the same indicated altitude as we saw on the overhead camera 
Even if you keep the same indicated altitude, your true altitude is actually getting lower and lower. That is why it's a hazard because you will be flying lower than what you think you are flying and that might get you close to obstacles. So remember, high to low, look out below.